Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now the other day on Twitter a viewer challenged me to put together the cheapest new parts build I could and in this video we're going to be showcasing that very PC. So I don't for a second recommend this system, in fact I'd recommend a Ryzen 3400G instead of the CPU and GPU combination that I've used here simply because when I ran the benchmarks for this thing I found that the 3400G with faster memory and more of it actually performed very closely to this build but I guess we should get into it. This system represents what you could put together if you were on a limited budget, you only wanted new parts and you didn't really care too much about the performance and rightfully so because performance is not this thing's well it's just a mishmash of components thrown together in a brand new case and mash is an appropriate word because this is a potato so starting with the case and we've got this colink 002 pc case i think 007 would have been a better name you know like james bond 007 002 sort of sounds like james bond's little incapable brother but yeah 002 it looks like an okay case um it's got a sort of shiny brushed plastic finish at the front and for basic needs, yeah, it seems like it's going to do the job just fine, but you'll get a better look at it toward the end of this video. For the parts then we have the 3000G, you've seen it many a time on this channel. We are going for all AMD with this build. When it came to the motherboard, I actually bought an A320 board which can be found for cheaper than B450 boards, but that arrived dead, so I had to resort to old reliable here for this system. So already, I guess I've cheated. <laughs> now the RAM, uh, we went with eight gigs of 2400 megahertz DDR4. 2400 megahertz isn't ideal, even in dual channel. I didn't go with four gigabytes because I actually wanted to start some games and four gigabytes would really struggle not only to run them, but some games will refuse to start with four gigs of RAM, or so I found. Faster memory is always better, but this was the cheapest stuff I could find in stock. It's clocked at 2400 megahertz, it's basic crucial memory, but it should do the job if you're looking for something cheap. The graphics card then, or the piece de resistance, sorry to all my French viewers for the pronunciation, is a Red Dragon RX 550, not to be confused with the 5500. The 550 trades blows with the GT 1030. It's one of those cards you might purchase if you want to play some esports titles, you know, like Fortnite with 60 FPS, CSGO, games like that. And luckily this is the 4 gig version, so it should fare better than the 2 gigabyte variant of the card. The power supply is an aero call something or other a 500 watt unit uh, i don't really know much about this psu it has some favorable user reviews which is always a bonus and it does have all the necessary connections that we need for our system today the best thing about this unit though has to be the company's slogan which i think is actually pretty cool <laughs> sorry to overuse the word there but yeah so, to add insult to injury, I began filming the assembly of this machine, but the camera died shortly after assembling the motherboard bundle. This machine is cursed. Now, if you buy a 3000G, then you won't get a cooler like this. You'll get the small form factor square shape cooler. It's noisier than the Ryzen stock coolers, but it does still allow for overclocking, although an A320 board wouldn't. This build was for a bit of fun, so throughout the remainder of the video, I'll be talking about what I'd actually recommend instead if you are on a similar budget. I said it at the start, and it's the Ryzen 3400G, maybe even the 3200G with their respective integrated GPUs. The Athlon 3000G's iGPU would also do okay if you wanted to use it for a while before upgrading to a discrete graphics card. If you were to go with 8GB of RAM, then I'd suggest a much faster speed as well. 3000 or 3200MHz would be better, as onboard Vega graphics would really benefit from it. I'll actually be drawing comparisons between this and the 4350G APU that we tested a couple of videos ago, which itself performs closely to the 3400G and therefore close to this combination. So starting off with Valhalla, and my goodness, we have had to make some sacrifices to say the least. The 3000G could be paired with a better card, to be fair, but the 550 means that we have to drop the resolution scaling to 50% of 1080p, which is 960 by 540 
Performance is okay, similar to PS4 and Xbox One consoles, but it looks much worse. Comparing this to our 4350G, and you may remember that we were able to use 720p there and average 38fps, but we did have double the RAM and a faster frequency too. In Black Ops Cold War, which I found to be quite well optimised for weaker hardware, and we were able to hit an average of 52fps with 80% of 1080p. Dropping the scaling lower makes the enemies quite difficult to see, so these settings are probably going to give you the best performance slash visual combination, along with the lowest preset of course. As always, the footage is from a bot match, but the figures are taken from an online game. This is about the same once again as a 4350 or 3400G could offer, with similar sacrifices. So let's carry on focusing exclusively on this combination's performance. Fortnite is the sort of game that a build like this is perfect for, although I did experience some stutter here and there. I believe this could be the slower memory impacting performance in this way, or it could of course be the dual core processor because I have had problems with two core processors in the past, whether or not they have four threads. GTA 5 single player will also be playable with normal settings, though we were able to turn up the texture quality. This could be kept at normal for more FPS, but very high looks better and doesn't completely ruin performance. There are some dips though to say the least. It's worth mentioning that a quad core CPU would do better in games like this that are CPU intensive, but with a 550 in the system our frame rates wouldn't be too much higher because the graphics card is still the limiting factor. It hits 100% usage a lot of the time. In Red Dead Redemption 2 we could just about squeeze 30 FPS out of this system. Again the textures are set to ultra and everything else is low. The 4GB of VRAM means that we can once again treat ourselves to the higher texture preset but we do lose a few frames off the average so sticking everything at low will still be the best bet. I think I might keep this graphics card around just to see how it does in newer games but then again maybe not. Now we didn't have to sacrifice the render resolution at all in Rainbow Six Siege as full fat 1080p meant a 60fps average, just about. This is the benchmark run so gameplay will differ, depending of course on the game mode you choose and the map that you choose to play on. This can be said for most multiplayer titles with different maps and modes too. Finally then, it's the classic that is The Witcher 3. The difference between low and medium settings performance wise was about 4 to 5 FPS. And in this case, that meant either falling short of 30 frames per second or averaging just above it. I chose just above it and therefore set both the graphical and post processing options to low. Visually, the difference is also quite noticeable, but I'd rather hit the plus 30 FPS average if I'm honest. So there we go, to the individual who asked me to put together one of the cheapest new PC configurations, I hope you're happy, I've suffered all day. Seriously though, I'd avoid the RX 550 in 2020, the 2 gig or the 4 gigabyte card, unless eSports games are strictly your preference, and if you do end up with a 3000G, try to get faster RAM to go along with it. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, let me know what you think of this PC, I, I can imagine what you're thinking already, <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.